primarily, there's nothing called philosophy in the kind of expression that I'm trying to portray through the art. It's just a simple spontaneous, uh, you know, interaction or response to the uh, surrounding the society, and uh, and in a personal level, maybe to your, you know, feeling, to your mind, your thought process. So this is how I see art as far as I'm concerned. It has always been my, you know, my priorities as far as folklore, our own uh, Kasi folklore is concerned. Every artwork that I do, whether it is sculpture or painting or whatever, uh, I mean, I emphasize on, on our folk uh, lore, the tales and uh, myths and legends and all this. So that way, uh, I feel that our Kasi folklore has many things to contribute to the world at large. If I have to refer to my painting that is behind me, like this is the story of a, of a son and a peacock, which, you know, literally what the contemporary world is, is uh, you know, is happening. The peacock is the husband of the son and he, he, he sort of uh, betray her just because he was looking, there's a greener pasture at the other end of the world. We don't take the story the folk tale as literal as it is. We should take that conceptual interpretation in, you know, in the uh, modern context. So this is how I, I, I see that we have many things in our folklore that we can share with the rest of the world, yeah. I am uh, Rafael Warji. I uh, was heading one organization called Riti Academy of Visual Arts, where we do a lot of uh, visual art activities in around the uh, state and our activities also have you know have cross borders had gone to the rest of india and even uh, outside india